do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen. No, I'm saying y'all ready, Tidy. I don't know what the heck we got going on today. Today we reacted to a wife that catches her husband cheating right handed. You know what I'm saying? I personally love watching these cheating videos. I have no idea why I love watching them. They just be so entertaining to watch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be enjoying the reactions. So I'm gonna just keep putting them out there. If y'all enjoy the reactions, make sure y'all smash the like button. Let me know if you want me to react to anything specific. Hit me over on Instagram at Juvenile underscore. Send me a link to the video you want me to react to. And if I react to it, I shout you out. You know what I'm saying? While we're doing stuff, Droid.com, I see my two third free bonus, say something else. I'm not gonna lie, I just cut myself on my finger. And it actually hurts. I think I'm 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 bleeding out. There's no blood, but I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding out. But anyway, it really hurts. And it feels like I'm bleeding out, but I ain't no blood. Let's just hop right into this. You know, I've been doing a lot of reactions to like dudes catching their girlfriends cheating. But I ain't done that many reactions to girls finding their boyfriends cheating or their husbands cheating. You know what I'm saying? So I guess this is a switch of perspective. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should cheat. No one. Boy, girl, no one should cheat. It's not acceptable for anybody to cheat. Remember that. If I catch you cheating, I would say I would clap your mother, but I'm married. I'll have somebody else clap your mother in front of you and make sure you watch the video 24-7. Playing over and over in your head. Listening to your mom yell out somebody else's name. Moaning as they get pounded. Harder and harder. Every single second. And you just gotta listen to that. Because you wanted to cheat. Don't cheat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, present. We're trapping Cody Levi Garner cheating on me and his wife, Leslie, with her best friend, Sam. He's trying to, so we are finally catching him in the act after her whole entire marriage. So here it goes, guys. Oh, okay, boom. I didn't realize this is what we're doing. Okay. So, the wife right there, the flat chested, well, they're both flat chested. The wife right there with the hunched over shoulder with the bedazzled words on her shirt. She's the wife that's getting cheated on, and the husband's trying to cheat on the wife with the girl that has the right hair. Now, obviously, the girl with the right hair looks better than the wife, but that's, that's not nothing. Just because somebody looks better than your person don't mean you cheat on them. But, second of all, the girl with the red, I, I read female, I speak female fluently, and y'all know this. So, what am I saying? The girl in the red wants to end the marriage so she could be with the husband. She wants the husband. She's saying that... The husband has been flirting with her and wants to cheat on her, his wife with her, with the redhead. But the wife really wants the husband. It's a, it's, 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 trust me, I'm, trust me, trust me. I'm telling y'all, speak female. I can tell by the way she's standing there. She wants the husband. Here we go, stupid motherfucker. What the heck? What's going on? Wait, is he pulling up to the redhead's house? Piss me off. Pause it real fast until we see where he's at. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Let's go. Action time, baby. He's here. Open the door. Open the door, dude. No, make the redhead open the door, not the wife. Busted. Fucking busted. I want a divorce. Oh, wait. Boom. Okay, so boom. This is what happened, right? Tell y'all right now. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Okay, boom. They, I didn't realize, but the wife and the best friend are at the best friend's house. He was pulling up to get the clappers on with the best friend. You know what I'm saying? But the best, the, the husband obviously didn't realize that his wife was at the best friend's house, so they plotted on him. They set him up. But in reality, as soon as she gets to divorce, the right hand got to swoop in like Captain save a and get clapped multiple times, get pregnant, trap that man, make him marry her, and spit in the wife's face. 
spit, literally spit in my white face. And you could tell he drives a motorcycle, right? He drives a motorcycle. He don't care. He don't care if he about to get a divorce. He about to go get some cheeks. He, he already been getting cheeks. You know what I'm saying? He drives a motorcycle. He, he's getting cheeks. Anybody that drives a motorcycle gets cheeks. That's all I'm saying. Like, they're not, they're not struggling to get cheeks. They don't care about their life. So why would they care about their relationship? You know what I'm saying? If you drive a motorcycle, you don't care about your life. Why would you care about your relationship? You know what I'm saying? Listen. Okay, mommy. Tell me who else is there. Yeah, you do know. Tell me. I want to fucking know who else is there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why does it matter? How long are you cheating on me? How long are you cheating on me? It doesn't matter. It matters because I'm fucking married to you and the mother of your child, and you're laughing. Ooh, they got a kid. See, I, I hate these stories when they got a kid. If it's just them two, it sucks. But when they have a kid too, it sucks even more. Because you're embarrassed as fuck, you look no, like an I'm asshole. I'm gonna talk about it at work, aren't you? Whoa. Because I you were being sketchy. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, Wait. listen. I don't even care. You don't care? That man do not care. I promise you he does not care. It's more like, get shit rolling. Get shit rolling? Yeah. What problems have there been? Like, I'm just curious. You know what I mean yet? No. No, we're not. Okay. And I know it wasn't a fucking joke. Guess who you've been talking to on Facebook the entire time? Who? Not Sam, me. Uh, I'm sure. Don't act all surprised. No, I'm, I already knew. Because Cody, you pulled the typical Cody Farmer. I'm gonna be fucking badass. Every fucking bitch wants my cock. Right. And that's what you did. You did, no? Yeah, I did. I just talked about all the other day. Why'd you show up over here? Just to see what was gonna happen. Because you wanted to rip off a piece of ass to my best friend? Yeah. He said, yeah, why not? If man do not care. That's horrible, but he, he don't care. But he didn't answer the question, you know what I'm saying? She asked him a good question. What was wrong with the relationship? What problems were they having to make him want to cheat? Some people will cheat just off rip. And some people cheat because there's problems with the marriage and they're lacking something in the marriage. So they think they have to cheat, you know what I'm saying? That's not an excuse to cheat still. No matter what you're lacking, you fix it with your significant other. You don't go out there and cheat to get what you're missing from your significant other. You make it known, have a conversation with your significant other. Therefore, that piece is not missing anymore, making you crave it from somebody else. This is for men and women, you know what I'm saying? I just spit some cold hard facts at y'all. But anyways, he didn't answer the question, what was missing? So I don't know what was missing. They gotta, I don't know. Why not? You're a real fucking classy motherfucker, you know that? What did I ever do to you to deserve this? In the garage. What did you do to deserve You had no fucking clue, Cody. Bullshit. And he's claiming he knew at the whole time that she knew he was cheating. And she said that she was texting him from Facebook, from her friend's Facebook account. So he was like cheating on the wife with the friend, but the friend's account was really controlled by the wife. But he, he had his hunch that it was his wife the whole time. And he said he'd be talking to his boys at work about it. I'm sure he works construction. He looks like the type of dude that works construction. So I could just assume him with his, his, his yellow jacket on, with his hard hat, and just like, hey bro, I know my wife knows I'm cheating, but hey, I'm still trying to clap her best friend because her best friend looks way better than my own wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you didn't know. Oh, yeah, I did. You're not that smart. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I already Because you wouldn't have shut up over here if you, you were that smart. He don't care. Obviously, you're a piece of shit human being. Really? Yep, yeah, really. Let's talk about Jared. Jared. Yeah. I fucked Jared when I was pregnant because we were fucking Crystal. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put a lot twist. Whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. Whoa, Gerald, wait, wait. Okay, we got to run this back. So much was just said just now. So many things have just changed. Okay, so he was cheating before and she knew he was cheating before on this girl named Crystal We have another pawn in this in this video in this scenario We have Crystal the girl that the girl that Mike whatever the heck his name is was cheating on originally So Crystal and Mike was cheating But then Gerald and the wife we gonna call her Becca Gerald and Becca was clapping and not just clapping she was pregnant and getting clapped. You know how disrespectful it is to have somebody's child in your stomach and have somebody else's balls poking the child in his mother effing head while it's in your stomach? You know how disrespectful that is? You know what I'm saying? It's bad to cheat. Both of them is horrible people for cheating. But it's, it's just, it just stings so much when your kid, the kid in your stomach, 
the the son of your the son or daughter of your significant other just got nutted on by another man because you let him shoot the club up. You like getting poked. Your kid is getting poked in the head by another man. Like that that is another level of evil. They both harbor people for cheating. This is just a bad relationship. They should have been divorced. I feel sorry for the kid, but that kid gonna have to suck it up, man, because he's gonna have two two different households. Cause he finna go live with Gerald. He probably more familiar with Gerald than he is with the other dude because Gerald was touching him in his womb. This is crazy. Fucking Erica, and you cheated on me with fucking Kathy. Whoa, 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 how many girls this man was clapping? Yep, really. Talking about Jared. Jared? Yeah. Jared. I fucked Jared when I was pregnant because you were fucking Crystal. Ooh. And you were fucking Erica. Two. And you cheated on me with fucking Kathy. Three. Three. Three girls he cheated on her with. That's horrible. But I told y'all dudes with motorcycles be busting. They be getting girls. Hi, Kathy Brannock. Kathy Brannock's a whore. Kathy oh, Cassie a whore? No, Cassie Brannock, you're a whore. <laughs> She's not. You don't think so? Oh, no, he, no, he, he doesn't say she's like Okay, well, oh, go get back with Cassie. Don't expect to ever see Aspen again. Whoa. Okay, well. Wait, what did he say? I expect to ever see Aspen again. Okay. Oh, he said that's not gonna happen. I thought he was like, that's, that's fine with me. Cause, okay, no matter what goes on, right? There's only certain, certain, very certain situations or circumstances where it's okay to never allow the child to see the parent again, or never allow the parent to see the child again. Only certain instances. But getting cheated on, that's not an instance. That's not one of the circumstances that, that means you should not let that person see their child. That is still their parent, and they, no matter what they did to the, to, the, to the mother or the father, it's still their parent at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Even though it is horrible, they're horrible people, they still have a right to see the kid. I, don't, I hate when, like, as females do it more so, I hate when females use the child as as like bait to hold over the guy's hand, head. Like, like they have the option to just take the child away. Like you, you not a parent with it. Like it's not equally your child. You know what I'm saying? We got equal rights in the joint. You was holding, you, yes you did hold it for nine months and, and push it out your coochie. You know how hard it is to hold all these kids in my balls every freaking day, my whole life. I've been holding these kids in my balls my whole life. So I don't want to hear you complaining about your little nine months. You know what I'm saying? It's heavy. My balls is heavy from all the kids I gotta carry around my whole life. You complaining about nine months? We got equal rights in the kid. You know what I'm saying? 50 50 ownership. You feel me? But I'm glad he ain't say F the kid. I don't wanna see Aspen ever again. He said that's not gonna happen. So obviously he gonna fight to see his son. That's 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 that's, that's what we wanna see. Cause it would suck for it's the difference between the father is not allowed in the life and the father doesn't want to be in the life, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, I just caught you. Well, I'm gonna do it and fuck you. Call Jared. It's okay, you already have one fucking court case that you can't fucking handle. Oh. Oh, I can't handle it? Yeah. Okay, call Jared, that's fine. Okay. But I just want you to know that as much as I love you, I think you're a fucking sleazy, lying, cheating, shit, dirty you? piece of shit. It was the easy way out. Easy what? Way. Easy way out, Cody, what do I do to you? Dude. Nothing. Nothing. I fucking lick your asshole. Whoa, what's going on? What? What do you mean by lick his booty crack? What do you mean? Nothing. I fucking lick your asshole, literally, <laughs> and treat you like a mother fucking king because I love you. I'm awesome in front of my friends. I'm awesome at home by myself. We'll call or text because we know you will. Nope, I'm blocking your number right now. By the way, infidelity in the state of Idaho is a fucking felony. So, good luck with that. Erica, Crystal, and Cassie. I still have all of it. You're what? Okay. Well, oh my god, dude. What did I just watch, man? What the heck did I just watch? I was on, I was on the wife's side the whole time. Wait, pause, man, stop playing this stuff. I was on the wife's side the whole time, but then it just, it just turned, and I'm, 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 both of them is horrible. She, J she was letting Gerald shoot up the club all on, all on Mike Athey's head. You know what I'm saying? While he was in the stomach, Ashton, Ashton, whatever the heck the man's name was, head while he was in the stomach. 
You know what I'm saying? The dude cheated multiple, multiple times. The girl only got caught cheating once, but she probably cheated multiple times as well. And then she just jumped out of nowhere and said, I lick your booty crack. What really be going on, man? I don't know what the heck be going on, man. Y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. What do y'all think of this relationship? This is a good relationship? I think this is the worst relationship I've ever seen in my entire career. Actually, it's not the worst, but this is a very bad relationship. At least, at least they honest about the cheating. You know what I'm saying? At least they open about the cheating, even though there shouldn't have been no cheating. But, um, anyways, y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. Like it right now for more reaction videos. If you want to react to anything else, hit me over there on Instagram, at Juvenile underscore, before you dip out. Joy.com, I see my two with third freak, bundle up, see, set $50. Now, I'm gonna see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through